Hello. I pray that you are well today. What's your motivation for this week? What's your motivation for this time of year? What's your motivation for life? What rules do you function with? If there's ever a time of year where gift giving is a big thing, it's now, right? We give gifts, we receive gifts, it's an expression of love. But there's a difference between the gift giving situation between people at times and the gift situation with God. God says in James 1, every good and perfect gift comes from him. So anything good comes from God. In Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9, it says, For by grace you are saved through faith. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. What does that mean? God's gift has no strings attached. God's gift is not a reciprocation, this for this. God's gift is the nature of his unmerited favor. Just doing something that he's never going to receive anything back for. Out of grace. He goes on to say in verse 10, For you are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in beforehand for us to walk in them. In other words, we're going to do this, but we're not getting credit for it, so to speak, as if we're earning salvation. Salvation is a gift. I encourage you to consider life in terms of gifts. Today's a gift. You are a gift to me. I pray that the word of God coming to you is a gift to you. A gift. In a season of gift giving, there is no greater gift than Jesus himself. Jesus who says to you, I won't leave you. I won't forsake you. Jesus who says to you, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Jesus who says to you, ask and it'll be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. The words of Jesus are a gift that you and I can think about and get strength from. His word is a gift. In this season in particular, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only from the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus came and lived among us that we might have grace and truth. Gift. Can I encourage you to think about your life as a gift? That people's lives in your life as a gift? Your time as a gift? The reality of your life as a gift? It's a gift. A gift of God, an overwhelming gift of God. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being the ultimate gift giver. In this season, may we get a glimpse of what it is like to receive and to give. But in truth, we just receive from you. We do desire, Lord God, to live a life that's pleasing to you. We do desire, Lord God, to live a life that encourages but we pray, give us overwhelmingly an attitude of gift. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you. And may you think, for by grace you are saved through faith. It is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, lest anyone should boast. God bless you.